Let's just jump right in, hallelujah. Let's, let, let's not interrupt the anointing of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come to you, Father, covered by your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you're the only one that we go through. You are our high priest. You are our Lord, our Savior. We go through no man. We go through no religion, Father God. We just go through your blood, Father. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Father, as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we know, Father, that we serve, that we live in the abundant life, all because of you, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God, that this is not our life. I thank you, Father God, that we have eternity to look forward to. So, Father God, any of your beloved children that come in with a heavy heart, Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you bless them with a fresh anointing, Father. That you would make this a reality to them, Father God. That this life is but a vapor. Our life starts when we're in the presence of you. So, Holy Spirit, as we lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, teach us, O Lord. Father, as I say every time, whoever is whoever is, you are using as a mouthpiece, Father, rebuke us. All the glory is yours, Father. We don't touch it, Father God. Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. All we want to do is worship and please you, O Lord. So, Father, as we bless you, Father God, fill your holy place. Fill your holy children, Father God, with a fresh anointing. And, Father God, I just thank you. I thank you, Father, that you love us. And it's in Jesus Christ. And all God's beloved children said, Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give somebody next to you a high five. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Look, at some of y'all are like, is it really okay? That's between you and the Lord. Amen. If you don't want to give anybody a high five, give yourself a high five. There you go. That's more like it. Amen. One more time. Give yourself a high five. Woo. That feels good. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget the angels. Don't forget the angels, amen. The angels love a high five, hallelujah. So as we move forward, as you guys have seen on the screen, I want to apologize to our praise and worship team. Pray for me because the lyrics was like a remix. And that is all my fault, once again. Um, pray for me. Please don't get crunchy, amen. God is on your side, hallelujah. But you notice the last song, the last song it got gooder. I was waiting for the gooder and gooder, but it just got gooder, amen. So... Pray next week that that doesn't happen. Amen. Our worship service is called Fill in the Blank, titled Fill in the Blank. Amen. And we're going to emphasize on in and blank. And as you saw, we're going to be in Romans 8, 9, 10, and 11. Romans 8, verse 9, 10, and 11. Qu quick question. How many of you know John 3, 16? Show him. Hallelujah. Look, look around, family. Now, in your own version, in your own way, See, we need to break out real quickly now. We need to break out of religion, okay? You see, the, the written word of God was issued by God Almighty so that we have his written word, so that we can fellowship in the spirit, hallelujah, and Holy Spirit shows us the written word. However, Holy Spirit, the living word within, amen, now is no longer NIV, it's JIV, right? It's Joey International Version, amen, right, amen? AIV, Ashley International Version, right? Go like this. Praise God. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you have salvation. Amen. 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 Am I talking to a bunch of saved, beloved children of God? Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. I am sealed by His blood. It's nothing that I've done. I just received what my God did for me all on that cross. Hallelujah. So the emphasis tonight, tonight, today, to this morning, it's tonight somewhere. Mm. It's tonight somewhere. The emphasis is in the blank. We're going to fill in the blank. Now, I pray that you pray for me because I, I just need to, need to be correct when I say this. I speak for Pastor. Pastor John and I, we're one. Can I get an amen? Amen. We're one. Listen, if you're planted and rooted here in Open Arms Community Church, I want to bless you with this peace. That you don't serve any person. You serve Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you're always protected by his anointing. His name is Holy Spirit. Amen. 
This Holy Spirit's church, which means, biblically speaking, we are correct. We have deacons that are overseers of the church. We have elders that are anointed of God, all in leadership. Guess what? We're all one. Can I get an amen? And I say all that because of this. Pastor John and I, we are one. You don't have a pastor that just runs rampant and just does anything that he wants to. Hallelujah. I am accountable to the highest level, to God Almighty. Say it with me. God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. But the glory of God is this. I can say that I worship all. I can. I can. I can fool you guys. Can you get it? I can fool you guys. I can act one way and live a completely different. But the glory of Holy Spirit is when you have a pastor that all he does is walk with the Lord as well. Guess what? If I ain't walking right, he would say, we need to talk. Can you get it? We need to talk. Amen? We need to talk. Even Pastor Mary, come on, we need to talk. And guess what? The elders are the same way. So please keep your leadership in prayer because I'll tell you right now, this past week, it has been distraction after distraction after distraction of the enemy for my life. And I tell you right now, I'm just a man. Amen? But if you don't want to bless God first, and you expect me to come into your situation and tell you it's okay, I'm not that guy. But if you want to call upon me to pray with you, to anoint you, to lay hands on you, to rebuke the devil, and expose. Just call me a flashlight. <laughs> Amen? Don't even call me pastor when I say, hey, flashlight. <laughs> Hallelujah, because it's a God thing. Amen? <laughs> when you worship the Lord Jesus Christ, his light shines through you, and he will expose all the cock and roll tent. Amen. You hear everybody calling out to God, help me. Amen. 
can I just get out of the situation, right? And this is where we're at right now. Say with me, we're at war. We're at war. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. So how has COVID affected you? I'm just going to show you some pictures here on the screen. Right? We're all wearing masks. Amen? Amen? What about this? Six feet apart? Bravery. I'm a kind of brother. I just want to love on you. Amen? And I said it, I said it in one of the worship services this, this week. And I'll say it for all of eternity. If you want to hug me and you want to love on me or you need prayer, you just come. Amen. You don't need my permission. Amen? Amen? In Jesus' name. Listen, I'm only boasting on God. I don't, I'm not boasting on Joey Craig. Joey Craig means nothing. I'm not even worthy to be standing here before you. But I fear God Almighty and I receive Christ. And I know what Christ did for me. That he died. Say that when he died. God died for me. And on that glorious third day, Holy Spirit resurrected him. And now Holy Spirit lives in me. He lives in you. Listen, if you're dead behind the eyes and you don't receive this message, there's something wrong with you. You have to get right with the Lord. Some of you are like, I cannot believe you just said that. If you're dead behind the eyes and you hear the truth of the Lord and nothing moved you on the inside, you are dead inside. Something is wrong. You need to get right with God. You know what? <laughs> there was a season when we first come in open arms where the enemy distracted me so bad. The enemy hurt me so bad. Use people. See, people are not our enemy. The devil is. But the devil will use people to hurt you. That's why God says forgive them. They don't, they don't, they don't mean to hurt you even though it seems intentional. They don't know. It's the devil. Can you get an amen? amen? So right now, God is saying, if you harbor an unforgiveness in your heart, please give it. Amen? Please give it at the altar today. Can you get an amen? amen? But God right now is, is, is going through your heart and saying, are you, are you my child? Do I live in you? This Holy Spirit is God. God the Father, God the Son, Lord Jesus Christ. This Holy Spirit live in you. Are, are, are you filling in the blanks with everything good and good? Or is the enemy filling, filling the blanks with depression, with worry, anxiety, sickness, disease? What if? What if? God gave you the power to mute the enemy. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ever mute something? Amen. All his angels are around us. Praise God. 
So how has COVID affected you? We're wearing masks, right? You go to the store and people are like, right? I, I never knew I'd live in a world, Pastor, have you ever thought about this? I never knew that I'd live in a world that sneezing is almost like cussing them. I have seven sneeze on the day people.
And I had to tell him, you gotta get off of this. And I asked him, I said, if you took the time of doing this with your phone, and you spent it in the Word of God, right? In the real Word of God, right? Right? See, there's some of you right now, once again, I'm not going to look at you. I'm not going to look at you. There's some of you right now that watch the news, and I pray in Jesus' name that you spend more time in the Word, in a relationship with God, than on that TV set. Listen, beloved family, I really don't care if you get upset at me. The time is running short, and guess what? You're not going to be standing before my God answering for me. I am. I am. All I'm called to do is to bless you and to encourage you. That whatever you're struggling with, I don't cast no judgment. I don't. Because we all struggle. Right, Sister Lisa? We all have our own struggles. We all do. As long as you live on this earth, you're going to be struggling with something. But God gives us the way out. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Live life in abundance. You know what fear gets you? Absolutely. 
absolutely nothing. All fear does is it robs life today. Amen. That's all fear does. But when you worship and you have the anointing of Holy Spirit in you, and you know that Lord Jesus Christ gave you eternity, guess what? You no longer think about what's happening right now. Look at the world. Nothing good is coming out of it. You want to know why? It started with this virus, right? The virus manifested and it took root. Panic struck the earth. In this panic, worry settled in. How did worry manifest? Now, keep away from each other. What happens when you stop interacting and stop fellowship? You stay apart. You start meditating on fear, on worry, on anxiety. Now what takes place? You're black, you're white, you're green, you're yellow, you're red. I, I, I don't like you and I don't like you. This is my life, my life, my life. It's not God. Hallelujah. God says, you are mine, you are my beloved child. Now I want you, Lord Jesus Christ, to say this right now at the throne of heaven. Listen. Listen, church. God is saying, love one another. Amen. Love. Amen. Love one another. There is no color. Amen. There is no color. Amen. There is There is no color. We are all one in Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So I do not believe, I do not believe in COVID. But I do believe that it exists. Can you hear me, man? I believe in, say with me. Agape. Who is Agape? Hallelujah. He is our God. Amen. Amen. May I ask you this? Can, can you break Agape apart? No. Can you take one and say, No. Hallelujah. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing, right? No. Amen. I can't tell Brother David, you know, Brother David, I love you so much, but you know what? Can you keep your soul back there? Right? I have to love Brother David, soul, spirit, and body. Amen. 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 That, that's the oneness in him, right? And this is our God Almighty. Amen. And I do believe that blank submits to God. Blank. See, I love this film of the blank because what is your blank? What is your blank that you're struggling with? COVID! Huh? Right? Yeah, and, and Mama Tree said it, right? So guess what? It submits to our God. Amen? Amen. What about depression? Yes. Yes. It submits to God. Amen? Amen. Anxiety? Yes. Say when it submits to God. Yes. What about sickness? Yes. What about demons? Submits to God. Oh, well, really? What about Satan? Submits to God. Amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Submits to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Do I believe? Amen. So we're going to fill in the blank. Remember, we're in Romans 8 right now. We're going to go for, to a few scriptures. And, um, wow, praise God. we got something else special tonight. So it's tonight somewhere. So let me just say that. <laughs> we're going to fill in the blank. And remember, the title is Fill in the Blank. We're going to fill in the blank with these scriptures. And the importance is, if you got your Bibles, follow along. If not, praise God here at Open Church. We, we normally put stuff on the screen. This is how we're going to feel. Look, look at the emphasis in Romans 8. We're going to start in verse 9, and it says, in, if, in, if. What I love about the written word of God, and when it says, if, sis, if, that means God is asking where you at. When you read the written word of God, and you read God's Bible, and the word of Scripture says, if, don't you know those words, therefore, Hallelujah, there for a reason, amen. These are those moments Holy Spirit say, you need to know this. Amen. You need, say with me, I need to know this. I need to know this. I had somebody earlier this week say, why, why when you preach, Pastor, you're going to get kicked out of this. So why when you preach, you tell people to repeat and say things? I said, where's your faith? Oh, what does that got anything to do with it? Second Corinthians 4.13. The spirit of faith is, I believe, therefore I speak. Say with me, I believe, I believe. Therefore, I speak. therefore I speak. So my job, hallelujah, my duty, my duty, right, is to make you open your mouth. Amen. Right? To speak life and speak blessings. Amen? Amen. Don't be crazy. Amen. Amen? To speak life and blessings over yourself. Amen? Amen. Now listen, there's some of you that say, well, I don't normally do that. How did you receive Lord Jesus? Show ahead. How many of you who how many of you who have received Lord Jesus Christ ask Jesus with your
your voice into your heart however way you did. Show your hand. Show your hand. Let's see your hand. Raise them up high. Be proud. Amen. Look around, church family. Listen, if you didn't wear deodorant, that's on you. Just keep your hands up. Amen. You spoke it out that Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. Amen. Amen. And that is the spirit of faith. See, right there, Holy Spirit, come on. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? You died in Christ and you're born again through the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Let's read the scripture. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh. Say with me, I'm not. I'm not. You are not in the realm of the flesh. That means if your flesh has any say or dictate your emotion or how you live this life, God is giving you a warning. As your brother, I'm not judging you. I'm not questioning your salvation. I'm not attacking you. I'm not beating you up. You hear me? Can I get an amen? Yeah. Help me now. Help me. Because the way this demon works is this demon wants to manifest the spirit of offense. It's demonic. And when that spirit of offense manifests, you don't want to hear the word of God no more, and you want to be caught up in everything that you think is right, and you want to be sold out on your confusion and your prideful identity. And in Jesus' name, I say no more. somebody that is just emotionally just out there lashing right do you know somebody that is is like just completely consumed with all their worries and problems do you know somebody right now God is asking for you to say their name to speak a prayer over them because his presence will go and bless them see so I'm talking to every one of you if you know someone who's struggling right now, listen, beloved church family, we're not going to play church like we have the other week. It's going to be different every time. Amen. And what God wants to do is he wants to flow the blessings through you. He wants the miracles to go through you. The question that I have for you is, are you willing? Because remember, we can be the ones that just say, Father, bless me. Bless me, bless me, bless me. It's all about me, 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 me. You're not getting it. Where God has us is, Father, bless so and so. Bless my church. Bless my neighbors. Bless this person at the workplace. Right? The reason why is because when God flows through you and answers those prayers, by default, you're going to live a good and better life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You notice that there's an adjustment right now. Do you notice that there's an adjustment right now? Because I hear it all the time. Oh, I pray all the time. I'm thankful that I'm not, listen, I'm not beating you up now. Glory to God. God wants us to be thankful in Jesus Christ all the time. Every time. Amen. Amen. But what God is asking of you, can we break away now just asking for ourselves? And now it's, it's it's bless others, Father God. Bless others. Is that what the Lord Jesus Christ did when he walked this earth? Did Lord Jesus Christ tell people, I can't bless you today? Anybody who needed it. Amen. Anybody who needed a miracle of blessing, guess what? They knew who to go see. My Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So where does Lord Jesus Christ live? Amen. Let's do that again. Where does Lord Jesus Christ live? Amen. For all of eternity, Christ Amen. lives in you. He, he owns you. Amen. Is Christ different yesterday? Will you pray for somebody else? 
I'm going to put out a challenge and meditate on this and sit on this for a little bit before we call the altar call. Amen. I'm going to ask you to pray and ask Holy Spirit for somebody to pray for. And after this worship service, if Holy Spirit leads you to come and pray, submit that name to the altar. Listen, we serve a big God. How many can say amen? amen. I believe in Jesus' name. God will do a miracle on that number of blood. Amen. But you are in the realm of the spirit. If indeed, if indeed the spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ. Let me repeat this. If someone does not have Holy Spirit, they do not belong to Christ. You know this past week, this past week I had a guy that doesn't have Holy Spirit. Doesn't believe for now, right? Can you say that for now? Yeah. Because we speak life, amen. amen. I'm believing, I'm believing that Holy Spirit just knocking on the door. Amen. 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 Can you get amen? amen? God never gives up. No. He never gives up on anybody, amen? No. And God is just knocking on that door, right? But he doesn't believe. And guess what? He tried to preach the word to me. This is what I love about Holy Spirit. You can hear the word, but the teacher Amen. will tell you exactly what it means. No one can manipulate the word of God. Can you hear amen? Hallelujah. Nobody can manipulate it. Verse 10, but if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, how many of you know that we live in a sinful world? Yes, Amen. How many of you know? How many of you know that if we don't get raptured out of here, guess what? We all wind up dead, right? Yes. It's the bottom line, isn't it? I mean, if, you, if you're not, I want to know kind of Kool Aid you're drinking. Seriously, right? We all get older. Amen? This is it. If, let's just repeat this. If Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit, say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit gives life because of righteousness. Who is the righteous one? Oh, is he your righteousness? Yes. Right? Is he your righteousness? Yes. Amen. So let me ask you something. TJ, is it your righteousness or Lord Jesus' righteousness? Lord Jesus. So if, I, if, I, if I'm the devil and I attack you and I said, PJ, you have some nerve to try to sit in God's holy house, raise your hands and lift up the name of Lord Jesus. Look at what you did in the past. You're not righteous. What are you going to say? I love that. I love being 
pastor out about worship for doing it. There's many that went like this, right? The other pastor kind of went, no, nope. right? No. Nope. What is the difference of believing versus believed? It's a pass, amen? It's a pass, right? At one point you did.
So God is asking, will you take your brokenness to this altar? See, I'm rebuking religion. I'm rebuking trying to be faithful. I'm rebuking like, you know, as if you got it together. Nobody has it together. I don't have anything together. I want to tell you right now, all I have is my relationship with God. And I thank God that His Holy Spirit lives through me. And all I want to do, all I want to do is sit in the back seat and let Jesus live this life. Can I get it? Is that anybody, anybody who tries to come at me when I'm worshiping my God and living a life of obedience as a child of God? Listen, family. You are living a life of obedience to the Lord. God is living through you. Amen. And if anybody tries to come against you, God says, no, mine. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mine. Say with me, mine. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is asking right now, will you cover everything with his blood? With his blood. And watch what God will do. God will remove the brokenness and you will be renewed in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. This is what Holy Spirit had this morning. And as you guys know, Holy Spirit's the teacher. I just try to keep up. Amen? Amen. The glory of God is this. I asked I asked you guys earlier, and you guys have saw throughout this entire worship service, and many of you right now, come on now, we're sitting here with masks on. I'm not beating you up because guess what? I wear a mask because the Lord told me to, and the elder said so. I do what God says to do, amen? And guess what? I don't complain about it. I thank God for it, amen? Can you get in? My my thing to you is, if you don't wear one and the Lord says don't, then you just keep that between you and God. Don't judge nobody. Amen. Don't nitpick anybody. Seriously, that's the devil. Amen. God expects us to be holy and righteous. Amen. Amen? Amen? But this is what I love. God said, how have I affected your life? How has Lord Jesus Christ affected your life, beloved? Huh? As you sit here as a child of God, knowing that you are eternally God's and never suffering from, you're not going to hell. Amen. Amen? You're not going to hell. I'm asking right now, how has God affected your life? And I pray in Jesus' name that you see this illustration. The Holy Spirit says He wants to take it to a whole nother. So we're just going to be obedient. Amen. This is what I want to show when you receive Lord Jesus Christ. There's some of you who have seen this. If some of you see it, get out of your head because Holy Spirit's teaching something new. Can I get an amen? I'm a firm believer that if you come into God's presence prideful, that you know it all, you're going to leave the same way. But if you come in God's presence as a baby, yeah, you know what I love about babies? They're so innocent. Amen? Daddy? Daddy? That's me. Oh, don't mess with me. I tie the tail in the heartbeat. Oh, don't. Seriously, I say this in Jesus' name. Do not mess with me. Be a blessing to me, because if you're not, Daddy, you saw what happened. God says, I'll take care of it. Amen. Amen? Amen? Do you have that relationship with God? See, many of you right now are going, yeah, pass the back, wave his hands, amen? Do you have that relationship with God? Daddy, this is your house, this is, this is my wife, above all, that's your daughter. These are your children. And they're covered by your blood. And this thing is trying to come in, Daddy, help me. Amen? Amen? See, what happens is, when you call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, say His name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, this is what He does to you. There are no more cracks. Let me ask you this. Does Holy Spirit do that? No. no. Holy Spirit, He will give you as much as you want. But every time you call on the name of the Lord Jesus, this is what happens. Can I get an amen? amen? When you're disobedient with God, you want to be prideful, you want to allow the demons to have their way with you, you want to lust in the flesh, whatever it is, 
What the devil does as a child of God, what the devil does is he tries to make you God. Right? But there's a whole other way Holy Spirit wants to deliver this message, and we're going to close. I'm going to ask Elder Charlie to come up here. This is a perfect demonstration because, yes, he's our elder at this church, just like all the elders, all the leadership, all of you, we are one in Christ. I'm going to ask Elder Charlie to grab that, and I say it's perfect because I know my brother and I know his fruit, and this is him. Amen. This is you. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to ask Elder Charlie, and what Holy Spirit has me to tell him right now, listen, family. Holy Spirit says, my beloved child, this is you and all the blessing. And God says, he wants you to walk around the sanctuary, and God says, but you don't spill it, God. You can go. Be completely empty. Be completely empty. You see, where God is right now, He's asking, what are you filled with? If you notice how serious our beloved elders thinking how we're all serious, you can feel Holy Spirit His anointing right now. What are you filled with? Holy Spirit right now just wants to bless you in the overflow. 
See, there's some of you. Once again, I'm not beating you up. Am I beating you up? No. There's some of you right now that came in like this. There's some of you right now that came in halfway. Why? The devil can't hit you real good, right? God is saying, will you come? Will you allow his Holy Spirit to fill you in the overflow? Remember, if you're walking your life and you think that you can just do whatever you want and there are no repercussions, I challenge you. I challenge you. Will you come to the altar of God and worship? Amen. You have your choice of how you want to be filled. Holy Spirit said oh, he, could put, he wanted me to put this up. But here at Open Arms Community Church, guess what? You will always be in the overflow because of Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Let's thank God for coming to do that. That's a lot of work. Hallelujah. But guess what? Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't it beautiful that when we're in heaven, when we're in heaven, God, our Father, will say, I saw you. Give our praise and worship team a round of applause. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pastor Tish should be back. Hallelujah. Pray for our traveling mercies and all of our families out on vacation and on trips. 